how does your role change, if at all, in the, in the three four, in the way you guys are doing linebackers now? Um, you mean as far as from spring or last year? Last year. Um, you know, it changes it changes a lot, a little bit. Uh, we're, we're playing more aggressive in certain defense where, where uh, they, they got installed for us. Um, some certain calls we do will engage us to play more downhill, play more aggressive. So, you know, last year is kind of more playing, you know, more side to side. This year is more downhill. So I'm, I'm, I'm real excited about that. You think that plays to your strength? For sure. I mean, it, it plays to any linebacker's strength. Be able to come downhill, be, be able to know you got, you know, uh, help to the, to the side of you, you know. Be able to come downhill fast, be reckless is just what, you know, what we want. So make plays and it's, it's good for us. How do you guys handle calls with the, with the extra guy, extra linebacker? Does it change at all? Um, not really. Um, I mean, we we draw little little hand signals or whatever, but it's not it's nothing major. We know whoever whoever's going is going. Whoever doesn't go, then you know we got certain responsibilities to it. But you know, we make it work. What's it like having Josh Woods back? Uh, it's amazing. You know, uh, we me and him been working together all off season um, in the weight room, doing double days after even after a lift, come back later and lift. Uh, you know, he's he's really you know brought me and made me a better a better athlete and a person actually. You know. Just trying to grow my mind and, 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 and the IQ and the football and have them out there we'll build both you know know the defense really well, being able to make calls on both sides and you know, just make each other better out there. You know, fly around. Uh, whenever I might be having a little low day or I might be feeling something, he bring me up or vice versa. So, you know, it's it's good to have him out there with me for sure. Does he give you kind of a coach vibe sometimes? I think Coach Pellin said he calls him Coach Wood sometimes. Uh yeah, I mean he's just he's he's a senior senior of the group, so you know, he has to know everything he does. He's very smart, you know. Uh, so if I don't, if I forget something or whatever, he'd be like, "Come on, like you know this." And then it's kind of like a little coach vibe then. But you know, it's never like he's like he's overpowering me, like he's saying like, "Do this, do that." Like he's always trying to bring everybody up. So you know, he's taking on a leadership role with you know, open arms, and he's he's done a great job with it. What about getting Jalen back too? Uh, you know, it's good to see him out here for sure, flying around. We sure need him a big body on the end, and uh, be able to set the edges. You know, once he uh, gets a, a better grasp of the defense and stuff like that, he'll be flying around. His motor's always been good, so it's, it's always good to have him back. How about you physically? How have you, have you changed at all since you sprang? Um, lost a little bit of more weight. Uh, right now, I'm weighing about 230. Um, so after camp, or kind of through camp, I want to get it up to 235. So i um, working on that, but I know I feel better. Uh, be able to run faster. Um, speed got better over the offseason, and we've been tracking that with numbers. So, I mean, um, feeling out here, just get my breath back, you know. It's been a while since we've been out here and passed, flying around, but uh, it's, it's been good. I mean, my body feels amazing, really. Do you have like a before 40 time that you ran last year and a current 40 time? You said you, you were testing. Um, it's not not really based on 40 time. Mm -hmm. It's based on like we wear this little thing like a GPS, like tracker that tracks like type of speed and how far distance exposure, stuff like that. So I mean, they track, they tell us um, like a little spreadsheet every day, so we get to see how fast we've been going or type of how many explosive bursts we have. So I mean, you track that, but no, no, not a 40. So you noticed from the first day of fall camp compared to like your last day of spring that it was a big jump. Oh, for sure. Yeah, even through the off season, you know, working on it, working on technique and Coach Heiberger and the guys have been helping us, you know, tremendously like on, on our speed and getting our strength up. So I, I, I commend them. How are your uh, lungs doing after last year? I know there's some fluid build up in mm -hmm. a couple of games. How, how's that going? Yeah, I was I was dealing with pneumonia for dang near half the season, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's gone. You know, uh, I'm not dealing with that no more. So I'm able to come out here feeling like I can breathe and be able to fly around. You can see during practice, like I'm not really huffing and puffing no more. Like it's, I'm able to fly around through the whole practice, even how fast it is and, you know, get my wind back quick. So it's, I'm, I'm feeling good. The doctors figure out a way to solve that problem so it won't come back? Um, it was just make sure I stay on my antibiotics and make sure I got my rest. You know, it was, I didn't really, get the rest time I needed. I was out here, you know, just trying to work and work and push through it because I didn't really think much of it. And then by the time I found out, it was already almost too late. So, like, once I started taking my antibiotics, took a week off, and then I didn't really get, still, still, still didn't get enough rest. But, you know, through the off season, after I got time to rest and got time to take my antibiotics, it's, it's, I'm good now. Had you had that problem before? Like, did you? It was first time. Okay. First time. I feel like the defense kind of has a hunger to, to prove that last season really wasn't who you are. Yeah, we do. You know, we all, we're out here fighting around, we're working, you know, getting our strength up, getting our speed up, getting our knowledge of the game up. You know, we want to we wanna prove we can stop the run. You know, we want to prove we can stop whatever we want to stop. Um, whatever, whatever demons are, we're in, whatever front we have, we're going to we're gonna do our job and fly around and be aggressive at all times. So we do have a chip on our shoulder. We do want to fly around and, you know, do what we got to do. You, you talked about, like, a reckless abandon, the aggressiveness. Is it kind of the mindset out here in fall camp? Instead of just staying in your assignment and being perfect, like being willing to make some mistakes early in camp and seeing how that works, just because they'd rather you be aggressive than just be on your heels a little bit, is that kind of the mindset? Uh, yeah. I mean, they they do want to play aggressive for mm -hmm. that reason. You know, if you make a mistake, we back, go back to film and watch it later. Mm -hmm. 
But even um, in certain calls, we're just playing aggressive period. Like it's not just based on making mistakes; it's just how we play. Um, mm -hmm. Flying downhill, making you know, making new gaps if there's not one, or flying through a gap. It's, it's whatever, whatever it is. We just got our whole mantra is be aggressive. What What's Mike been like this, this off season and then seeing him out on the game? Um, you know, he's been great. He's been in here like like me and Josh, you know, working. Um, got his weight down a little bit, and being able, he has a motor. We see him out here a little bit. He flies around. You know, and that's good to see. Um, he's really he, he can be aggressive and you know just trying to get him to do things and get a better better knowledge of the game, especially especially playing outside backer from transition from last year playing inside. So you know just getting him the better knowledge of that and once he gets that down, he's gonna, he's gonna be awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.